Okay, in this video today, I want to show you how to update the Samsung Galaxy S Captivate for AT&T to Android 4.4 KitKat. Um, so I'm already on KitKat right now. Uh, this is going to be flashing it through Cyanogen Mod version 11. And uh, I want to show you the steps to go through today to be able to flash this to your phone. Um, so the way I'm going to do this today is I'm going to flash back to Gingerbread and then upgrade from there. Um, so if you're already on a newer version of Android, say you're already on uh, Cyanogen Mod version 10 or 10.1 or 10.2, um, you really don't need to go through the steps of this video. You can just get the newest nightly, the newest CM11 nightly, and just flash that through your clockwork mod. But um, if you want a, a clean, fresh install, um, you, you can go through the steps that I'm going through because I just showed you I'm on KitKat and I'm going to go all the way back to Gingerbread then upgrade from there. And so if you're already on a newer version, then you can go through these steps. Uh, then obviously if you're back on Gingerbread, then these are the steps you're going to want to go through. Okay, um, one other thing I want to say about this is that um, you need to make sure that you back up your EFS folder. And uh, I'm working on a video uh, that, that will show you how to do that. Uh, I'll probably put that video out in a couple days. Um, so um, make sure you're backing up your EFS folder because if you don't, then it's possible that once you get to this newer version of, uh, of Android 4.4 or even 4.2 or those other ones, once you get to the newer one, you'll, you'll lose your IMEI. But even if, it, if you do get that warning, you can always go back to Gingerbread. Now, I'll, I'll show you that in, that in that other video. But I just want to, to make you aware of that. It, you really need to back up your EFS folder uh, before you do this. Okay, so over here on the computer, there's several files that we need to download. And uh, I'm just going to give you the list of those, of those files that you need to download. So the first thing you need to download is the, um, is the gingerbread ROM that we're going to flash to our phone. And I'll have a link in the description to all of these uh, posts, threads, and websites for you, to, for you to get these downloads. So first of all, on this one, this is uh, the Stock ROMs One Click Master Collection. It's just kind of the all-in-one deal post over on XDA. And so it's what we want to do is scroll down here and download this i897UCKJ3. And so what we want to do is download this one that says Without Bootloaders. So when you click on that... It brings you right here and just download that, 193.22 megabytes. And the reason I chose this file is because this newer one, when you click on this link, it takes you to a website where you have to register some. I don't remember, but I didn't want to use that one. I want to use the, the easiest one possible. So, again, it's the I, I897UCKJ3. You're downloading the link one without bootloaders. Okay, so that's the first thing you need to download is that file. Um, so I'm just going to give you everything you need to download. The other thing you need to download is this Odin version 1.85. And I'll put a link to this, and this is just a, um, a direct download, and I'll have that. Once you get that, um, well, let me make sure that's still working. <clears throat> Okay, yeah, so that's a direct download. I'll have that. So that's the second file you need is Odin 3 version 1.85. Next thing you need to download is the corn kernel, and I've already downloaded that. Uh, the download button is right here. I'll have a link to this. Just click on that, download that corn kernel, just 6.31 megabytes. And then the other thing you need to get is the actual Android 4.4 ROM through CyanogenMod. So I'll have a link in the description to this thread by PAWITP. I don't know how he pronounces that. Um, but uh, I'll have a link to this. So you're going to want to click on under downloads. <clears throat> you're going to want to da uh, download the latest build. And the latest build right now is uh, December 7th of 2013. The one I'm using is December 6th because that's the one I have downloaded. I don't want to download this other one. So I'm just going to use this one, but depending on what day you're, you're looking at this, you may be looking at this at December 9th or December 10th or December 25th. So just download the newest one, and that's the one that you're going to be flashing. Okay, so you need to download that nightly. And then the other thing you need to download is the Google Apps, or it's abbreviated a lot of times as GAPS. So once you click on that, it's going to take you over here to their list of GAPS. So you can see for CM9, 10, 10.1, 10.2, and version 11, that's what we want. 
So if you'll just click on this IT VINs, it will, it's a direct download. Once you click on that, you'll start downloading those gaps. Okay, so let me go back to that real quick again. First file is this i897uckj3, no BL, no bootloaders. You're going to download this Odin version 1.85. You're going to download the corn kernel. Then you're going to download the latest build uh, right here. And then you're going to download the gaps right here. Okay, so um, I've already downloaded all those myself. So I'm going to go ahead and show you. Okay, so when you download this i897, no BL, it saves, it's, it is as a .rar, which that's just another way to compress file like a .zip. So whenever you, whenever you click on that, if you don't have a program to open up um, a RAR, just Google this right here, win RAR, and it's the top Google uh, search. Just download that program, and it'll allow you to open that .rar. And so I'm going to extract that. I'm going to take that .exe and extract it out to my desktop. Just drop it out there. Okay, so this th that's what this is right here, and this is my one-click Odin file to be able to flash that gingerbread. So, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and click that, let that open. Okay, now that that's open, over my phone, is what I want to do is completely power this down. So the way I'm going to do it is just pull the battery. <clears throat> And don't push the power button. If you push that, it's going to turn it back on, and you're not going to be able to get into this mode we're trying to get into. So don't push the power button. All I'm going to do now is push and hold the volume up and down. Again, making sure not to hit that power. Then I'm going to take cable from my phone, plug that in, and it's going to bring me into this downloading mode. That's what we want. Then if you'll see over here on my computer... Um, you can see how this is yellow. That means it's reading my phone on port COM13. So my, my uh, computer's recognizing my phone. If this doesn't connect, if you don't see this turn to yellow, that means you probably don't have the correct drivers installed. And the easiest way to get those drivers is just to download the Samsung Keys. That's K-I-E-S program. Okay, so I'm good to go. So this thing, once I push start, it's going to go through the flashing process and it's going to put me back onto gingerbread. So I'm going to let it go through that process. Uh, it usually takes five, six minutes, somewhere in that neighborhood. And um, I'll let it go through that, and then we'll pick back up and, and go into the next steps for this video. Okay, you can see how uh, it passed. Got all that done. All threads completed. Succeed one, failed zero. Okay, so I'm going to be back on uh, gingerbread at this point. So, so what I want to do is I'm going to let this thing start to boot back up, and then we're going to go back into download mode and flash that corn kernel that we downloaded. Okay, So I'm going to let this thing boot back up. Okay, At this point, I'm going to go ahead and unplug that. Okay, so at this point, I'm going to go ahead and uh, just turn it back off. I want to flash that corn kernel. So it's off. Um, okay, so back over on my computer, I'm going to close that program. Now, so what I'm going to do next is with this Odin version 1.85, you're going to download that, and you want to extract those files to your desktop or to some folder on your desktop. Okay, and that's what I did right here is I extracted that. Um, dot zip to to this folder. So it's so what I want to do is now I'm going to open up this Odin three this dot exe. And yes, and it's so what I want to do now is I'm going to uh, under the PDA slot. I'm going to go over here and find that corn kernel that I downloaded. Okay, so right here you can see this corn kernel uckk four version seven zero five dot tar. So I'm going to open that up into the PDA slot. Now, make sure that repartition is not checked. It's, it's never checked that I've seen it by default, but make sure that you do not check repartition. Make sure repartition is not checked. Okay, so back over my phone. This is dead now. I have it turned off. Again, don't hit the power button. Do volume up and down. Plug in the, the USB cable here. 
Brings us back up into download mode. You can see how this is reading my phone. Um, so we're going to flash this kernel, very small file. Won't take long at all, so push start on that. Flashing that Z image, it'll take just a second. And then my phone will start booting back up. And then you'll see how, uh, see this corn that we just flashed to it. Okay, so, um, so what I'm going to do now is I want to let this thing go ahead and boot back up. And it's what we're going to do now is we're going to take those, uh, those last two files that we downloaded um, on our computer, the, uh, the nightly that we downloaded, and these gaps that we downloaded. So what I want to do now is take those two files and put those two files on the, on the internal memory of my phone. Whether you put it on the phone memory or whether you put it on the SD card of your phone, it doesn't matter. But that's the next step is to put these two files on the internal memory of your card. So the way you're going to do that